Whoa. On to the next. Absolutely cooking. Woo! Coming in hot. Well, what's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Another hot evening out here in LA. 90 degrees, 6 p.m. Out in the streets on the Dirt Jumper. Getting active on this bike. Sorry, I just picked up an uh, Apple Watch. First time I've had an Apple Watch in a while. So we're gonna do like uh, some mileage slash, you know, calories burned on the Dirt Jumper today. See how far we go. See how many calories we burn. Should be fun. A little, you know, extra layer to the video. That is if this doesn't drive me insane trying to wear it while I ride. I don't know if it will or not. So we'll find out. Gonna be a big day on the Dirt Jumper. We're about to get active in the streets for about an hour. As always, if you like the bike content, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's begin in the streets of LA. All right, today should be a good one, folks. Nice, perfect weather. Rush hour has already passed. We got the Apple Watch on. Weather would like to send you notifications. Sure, okay. I've had an Apple Watch before, but this is the first time I'm gonna be really riding with it. So that should be interesting. I think there's a button to just start. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna scroll down to outdoor cycle. Boom, we're gonna get started even though we're not moving yet. Uh, and then we're gonna see right now my resting heartbeat is 127 i just pedal up a hill to get here so that's why it's a little higher than normal so you'll be able to see how long i'm riding for and calories burned average heartbeat probably some other stuff so we'll check in with that periodically as we go about today's ride anyways on the biking tip i don't know if i've told you guys but i got the new bars on this bike uh they feel awesome hey hey let's do it oh he, <laughs> he didn't stop dang no one stopped right there i thought i was going to get run over twice first by a moped then by a minivan New bars on this dirt jumper. It still needs a couple of other tweaks. I think it needs uh, better brakes for sure. People were saying the brakes needed to get bedded in and they feel a lot better, but they definitely still feel pretty junk. All right. Oh. Getting things started. Oh my gosh, over here in Westlake. A little brake test. I gotta put some air in these forks. They're a little too bouncy now. It's one thing that did wear in. Now they're a little too squishy. All right, so as per usual, the entire first segment of the ride is gonna be entirely downhill. Something is banging around. I think it's my chain. Chain sounds super loose and wobbly. Not a fan of that. So that said, we got a nice little semi-intense downhill to start off with. Oh, I need more air in my back tire for sure. Cooking, coming in hot. Coming in very hot. Got to thread the needle. And we got a green light. On to the next. Absolutely cooking. And coming to a stop. Let's give it a second. That should give us a nice jump to the heart rate. See, it looks like we hit uh, 182. Not too bad. This is going to go up when I have to do uphill pedaling most likely getting a nice little hill bomb is a is a thrill but doesn't get my heart pumping oh we're up to 188 not bad that was an awesome hill bomb probably should have put some air in my tires before i came out and tried to shred today but i think we'll be able to get around just fine all right so we got our second downhill segment coming up sixth street going westbound we're gonna cross the street. Here we go. Oh, almost looped out on the manual. No bueno. This is all just a warm up, really. Our heart shouldn't get too pumping until we actually get to the first spot, which is, uh, Still quite a ways away. Do a little bit of thread the needle through pedestrian traffic. Also, this is our first ride with the GoPro Hero 11 Hyperview with the Dirt Jumper. Well, that's kind of cool too. This thing keeps like tapping my wrist. Like it's giving me like a haptic feedback. I don't know what it's for though. All right, gonna make our way out of pedestrian traffic right here. So 
with a quick downhill 173 current heart rate probably gonna hover around that for the most of the ride in case i get scared or when i have to pedal uphill <coughs> Coming in hot straight into traffic. Thank you. It's crazy the, the powers. Whoa. Had to get a little squirrely right there. Avoid the pedestrians. That was a nice little run though. That should be a good clip. All this madness. I bet my heart rate is still the same. 184. Climbed a little bit. So much easier to manual this bike with these taller bars. It just locks right in. Got the four-way crosswalk. Thread through traffic. I was gonna try and throw the needle all the way up, but way too many cars. All right. Heart should be pumping a little bit now. I just got a nice little sprint in. Let's see. 197, we're climbing. We are climbing. You guys gotta remember too, I'm also kinda out of shape because I've been riding the Suron so much. That should probably affect my heart rate too. Probably gonna be a little higher than normal. All right, we are now diving into MacArthur Park, the land of bird poop. Nice little hop. Let's get a 180 onto the bank. Trying to do a hop manual. Oh. No skills. Gonna carve our way around. Let's see what we're sitting at. 193. I wanna see if we can hit 200. I thought that's a good thing. I don't think you ever want your heart rate to hit 200 beats per minute, but we're gonna go for it. I bet it's gonna happen without even trying on the hill climb on the way out when we're done today. Also, by the way, I've never really done like a fitness thing review on my bike. So let me know in the comments if I missed out on anything you'd like me to touch on in the second video. I'd be glad to do another one. I'm just kind of winging it. I don't know what else to do besides the fitness app. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind, obviously. All right, we're gonna make our way through the birds. Love it. It's where the seagulls are even out here. Like how are they, why are they in the middle of downtown? These are seagulls, right? All right, we're gonna get our first of two, two stair bombs that I at least know we're definitely gonna do. Maybe more be on the horizon. Oh, my tire almost got caught right there. Could have been ugly. Nice. As far as riding and tricking with the watch on, I mean, it's not the worst. I rode with my uh, old Apple Watch a few times and I wasn't really that big of a fan of riding with a watch on, but this one, I mean, it's pretty big, but it's not like crazy in the way or nothing. So at least for today, we'll tough it out. Oh God, getting active, made our way to MacArthur Park. We're gonna bomb the second big stair set out here. Uh, let's see some stats. We are two miles in, 57 feet climbed. Average miles per hour, eight and a half. That's pretty low. That's like chilling status. Anyone who cycles, you know, like a, a fast average is like 20 miles per hour. If you're really like cooking, I mean, really fast is like 26, and anything above that, that's like fast. So we, <laughs> we're really chilling as far as speed goes. All right, we're gonna cook straight across the street, manual into the stair bomb. The manual totally did not work. And we're going super fast. Oh, that was quick. Vibing. All right, we got so much speed, oh God. Hit the brakes. Not bad, huh, folks? Also, what do you guys think of my shades? Do I look like a dad? I do. 
You don't have to tell me, I know I do. Just getting ready, you know, I'm, I'm getting 30 soon. Dad life is right around the corner. Got my AirPod bouncing around. Let's try and get a little 180 off of the stage. First row 180 off a drop on his bike. Okay, my phone just overheated and the watch thinks I took a fall, even though I barely just stepped off my bike, which is kind of crazy. And I have to hit this button or it's gonna call SOS. And I can't hit it because I have my gloves on. Oh my God, it's gonna call the cops. Or, you know, paramedics. Provide some detail. Fell, but I'm okay, I did not fall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I stopped because my GoPro overheated after literally, how far? 16 minutes, I want to say, because it was about a minute and a half ago. GoPro overheated in uh, 16 minutes. I'm gonna, t this, this thing is extremely hot to the touch right now. It's, it's a great camera, but the overheating is, is out of this world compared to what I dealt with with the 10. So in order to get the wide hyperview, uh, you need to film in 4K 60, which I usually don't do because I usually upload 1080. I think the 5K, 5.3K stuff is a gimmick. I don't understand why there's more frame rates in 4K. Uh, 4K60 is nice though. I think that should be a standard. It can't go more than like 20 minutes has been the absolute max for me. I don't know where it is, if you could say that's good or bad, but that's what I've been getting. It was about 20 minutes, full overheat, need to wait for a second. Uh, it's probably gonna overheat even quicker now because I usually let it sit for a few minutes and then pop another battery in, but get back to it. We are 19 minutes in. No Siri, we don't want to talk to you. 2.3 miles, gonna keep going. Also, I'm gonna do the 180 again because I don't know if it cut off. Whoa, that felt kind of sketchy. Let's clean it up. The shades went flying. All right, I don't know what's going on. GoPro just overheated after like a minute and a half of being on. My watch thinks I fell again. This is this this scares me. This makes me think I cannot ride with this thing on a regular basis. Because if I don't notice this, I mean it's it's giving me haptic feedback right now, so it's hard to miss. So like I gotta take my gloves off to tap this. It's hard to miss that. And it says it'll trigger SOS for you if you don't respond. So if you don't, you know, stop whatever you're doing and tap that button, it'll probably call the paramedics, which is not what you want to have happen. So watches just person out gopro's overheated i guess we're just gonna chill here for like 10 minutes i mean we got pretty active so we definitely got good footage i wanted to get a little bit more but i don't know we gotta we gotta wait and see if the gopro will even continue to work and hopefully our apple watch doesn't snitch on us and call the cops so <laughs> stay tuned all right we let the gopro sit for about uh i don't know five minutes we're gonna just try and start making our way back because this is about to drive me insane this overheating problem uh, DJI Action 3, please save us. Save us from this overheating nonsense. Uh, I wish I had to connect to DJI to get mine quicker. It doesn't come until like another two weeks. So uh, we're just going to try and jam back starting now. This should be the heartbeat test. It's going to be a lot of uphill the entire way pretty much. Uh, so stay tuned. Hopefully this thing doesn't catch on fire. Okay, so we're at 25 minutes right now. 77 feet of climbing, two and a half miles. Let's see how much climbing we have to do to get back to the car. This is going to be extra pain in the AS, because I have a bouncy suspension. It's gonna be fighting me the entire way. <sighs> We're gonna try and make this as quick as possible. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't overheat again too. Yo, yo, yo. All right, we got a couple routes we can take. We're gonna do Alvarado. It is a slow, steady climb all the way to the top. I'm already losing my breath when I haven't even started. Also the watch is, keeps giving me like a haptic tap. I don't know what that's for. All right, here we go. Climb time. Oh yeah. Oh my God. At least we're on the shade side. Oh gosh. We're actually almost up the hill about halfway. I've already got cold breath. Oh God, GoPro overheated again on the way up. <laughs> so that's three. It probably will overheat again before I'm even done talking. But we hit 202 beats per minute. That's pretty good. You know what you're gonna say? Oh, what, only 110 feet of climbing? Yeah, it's not easy on this bike. <laughs> not in the streets, at least. <laughs> Just straight up was down to hit me, wasn't even looking. All right, I think I'm gonna have to turn this off 
until I'm ready to film again because it's just gonna overheat. So we're gonna go ahead and cut. Okay. okay. The most brutal part of the pedaling is done. So we should be good from here on out. And it's a little bit cooler and we're in the shade. So let's pray to the action camera gods. This thing doesn't overheat again. Oh man, I am actually kind of pooped and we barely did anything because I went so ham so quick. All right, just crashed 31 minutes, 3.38 miles. For the record, I was planning on doing at least double that, but all right, I kid you guys not, it just overheated in the middle of my sentence, so I don't even remember what I was saying. So we're just gonna do this last double hill bomb as quick as possible and pray it doesn't overheat in the middle of it because that would drive me insane. Uh, let's go. I did, I would have brought an extra GoPro. I have three GoPros, but I didn't think it would overheat this bad today. This is horrible. I put in a brand new battery, nothing. It still won't work. All right, let's go. Double sender. One last cooker. Check our heartbeat. Call it a day. Crank up the second hill. Bomb again. Woo! Love it. Oh yeah. I should get the hard cooking. Let's see if we hit 200 again. One last crank up. Oh man, that's it. 186, zone five, I don't know what that means. I have no breath left. All right, shocker guys, GoPro overheated again. I missed my peak. I think it was around 202. Uh, it just went down from 194 to 182. Pain. Final thoughts, GoPro 11 overheats way too quick. That's one. Uh, Apple Watch Ultra, I mean, it's fine to ride with. That whole like, we're gonna call the paramedics if you don't respond is kind of worrying. I don't know about that. Maybe they need to fix that or maybe it's designed that way. I don't know. Just stepping off the bike triggered that, which is kind of weird. Either way, I like it. I need 800 bucks, it better be nice. It's <laughs> the least I could do. Um, yeah, that's it. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. I'm out of breath. I'm going home. Bye.